Second Blue campaign coverage five weeks from tonight. Wisconsin voters will decide who they want for governor. Governor Scott Walker and challenger Mary Burke both campaigned in Milwaukee today. Charles Benson takes a look at some of the campaign issues. Charles. Well, we asked both about domestic violence and drug testing the poor who sign up for benefits. Both of these issues could play differently with women voters. Democrats are calling on Governor Walker to offer more specifics on his plan to drug test people on public aid. He says the program will help people who need work to find jobs. The basic requirements we hear time and time again from employers are people who can show up for work, know basic employability skills, and people who can pass a drug test. Challenger Mary Burke says she supports efforts to eliminate fraud, but doubts Walker's plan will have any real cost benefits to taxpayers. I don't think it's a job creator as well, but I'm I'm concerned about any new government program that spends more money. The Walker campaign is also out with a TV ad with a victim of domestic abuse about new laws he signed to help women. I've worked with Scott to help create funding. Advocates have called on closing loopholes for private gun sales that don't require background checks. Walker says he's open to reducing illegal guns. Find ways that uh, ensure that uh, people, criminals, are not able to find access to illegal guns. Burke did not offer any laws that she would change now to help domestic abuse victims, but was open to suggestions. Look at all the options because it's, it's at an unacceptably high level and we need to take this issue on. Jobs and economy seem to be driving the driving issues in this campaign. Tomorrow we learn if either candidate has been able to move the needle in this dead even race, Marquette University is out with a new poll. Carol? A lot okay. of people waiting for those, Charles. Thanks.